Hey YouTube, what's up this morning? I just want to make a quick video just kind of to remind myself to do this in the future. It's about installing a flight plan, let's say from Orlando to New York. And we want to copy our route. I know how to use Simbrief, so, but I never figured out how to use the flight in NaviGrab. So, today is that day. So, we're going to add a new flight, copy paste that, and, and if you click save, it says invalid. See? Now, we're going to fix that. The reason is, you need to do the following. First, we're going to write our departure, which it was um, MCO, right? Yeah, Kilo MCO, Orlando, I think it is. Go, that is correct. And our destination, KJS. And you can see. Nothing is happening. You're not even able to save yet. The reason you don't save your add your fly to Navigraph is because right here your SID and your star happens to be the problem. And you could use that on the plane, like on your seven three seven. And once you go to your FMC, you go right ahead, and you already know because your SIM brief. What are you doing, right? We're going to remove this SID and write the word SID. And on RC4, we're going to write star. Simple. That's all you do. And then. So anyway, right now I can't even save it, but it's verifying it. Look at that. You click where it says flight name inside there. Now you can see where we're departing and arriving. You could write your alternative, you know, airport if you use SimBrief. You can put that information there. You don't have to, whatever. But we're going to just write, you know, keep it simple. So you saved it. There. Click on it. Oh, there you go. You have to make sure you don't have that check there. Click there. And there's your route. You can see your departure area. You know, and you're flying high, so make sure you check high. Or if you're flying low altitude, you put it on low altitude, and so on and so on. You know, you can click all your places you're going to. You know. You can make changes, whatever. If you want to make a change, you can. You can view your charge. You can sit here. Here's your SIDs. Huh? And here's that SID that we deleted right here. And you just you know, get all your departure information right here, whatever runway is available, like I like to use, well, the only weather engine I got is FS Global now, so I also use windy.com, just put your airport information. 
and you can see all your winds, information, weather, your altimeter, and all that. And you can actually see which runway the winds are blowing to. As you can see, they're blowing in that direction. So now you know you got to uh, go to ref, uh, what's it now? Airport information. You can look at your chart and say, oh. Now you know which way the winds are blowing. Just look at your charts. You see what's happening. Which runway. Uh, if you don't know the runways, here they all are. Well, I hope these guys, this help you guys out there for those that doesn't know. How to um, add a route into your Navigrav flight. So you click back, there's your route. You can see it. This is as far as I got on this information. You know? <clears throat> Hope this helped you guys. Have a good day and keep on flying.